Hello beautiful ones, Joseph here. Now then guys, nothing says summer more does it than beautifully brown skin, which is mahogany rich and divine. However, we don't want to go out there and expose our skin to sunshine, do we? Because we know how damaging that can be. The answer, summer skin DIY self tanning lotion, which is never orange, always mahogany brown. Want to find out how to make this little baby? Keep watching. So guys, what is summer skin? And how does it work and how does it differ from all the hundreds of thousands of other self tanning products on the market? Well, this is in fact a self tanning potion. It is serum liquid. It's got a, a shimmery sort of uh, silky sort of look to it in the bottle. It, um, it It's one of those self tanners which develops after a few hours. You put it on and it's this color and then it transforms into the mahogany brown after maybe five or six hours. And once the colour has developed, you won't be able to wash it off, guys. The only way you'll get it off is time and scrubbing and sloughing of your dead skin because it is the top layers of the skin, which something like summer skin or all the other self tanners out there stain, basically. Um, however, the majority of self tanners are sort of orange. So you go around looking like a, a bloody umpa lumpa. <laughs> but I've developed um, summer skin so that it doesn't produce the same sort of orangey cast to the skin or the gingery cast, which looks so obvious and so unnatural, doesn't it? Beautiful beautiful ones and the magic ingredient that in oh where is it where's me here it is this is a this is my bag of tanning agent I'll link where I got this from down below and I've had this for maybe five or six years now I got this years ago and this is the 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 powder which is responsible for making summer skin give it its its uh, coloration if you like but summer skin also has this in monolaurin and you'll see when we do the tutorial part of this video how we're going to use this. These are extracted from coconuts and monolaurin is also present in breast milk. And it also has many, many really interesting biological properties. It's antibacterial, has antioxidant properties, making it a bloody good addition to our lineup of ingredients which we're going to put into summer skin. And also in summer skin, we also have uh, rosemary essential oil. Now this is going to change the color quite drastically of the self tanning from the orange to more of a red tone, which is what you want when, you, when you're self tanning. Think about that logically, you're, you're on pale skin especially, that's why pale skins look so orange, because most pale skins have a pink sort of undertone to them, and the predominant color in self tanners is yellow. Think about that, you're putting yellow on top of pink, you're gonna get orange, aren't you? So that's why most self tanners um, are orangey or give you that gingery cast, however, Summer skin, the ingredients in summer skin gently nudge the shade or the tone of the final uh, tan from orange, away from orange and more towards the red side, which is what you want. And that is the monolaurin and the rosemary essential oil doing that to the tanning agent. I must say quickly that this uh, summer skin does not have this in. This is erythrulose, which is a another self tanning sugar. You use this in a much, much lower concentration than the tanning sugar or, or DHD hydroxyacetone. I'll write that down here, which is what this is. That's the main tanning agent. Um, and a lot of uh, modern or current self tanners do actually combine DHA with erythrulose because erythrulose supposedly pushes the tone away from orange you know as I said about turning it towards it to a more red tone however I've never found that with erythrulose I find it just as orange as uh, as DHA whereas the combination of monolaurin and rosemary essential oil definitely do nudge it away from the more orange end to the more red end giving the final color a much much more red mahogany tone to it and the uh, the chemistry behind self tanners it's it's a bit complicated really but something like dehydroxyacetone is known as a, a reducing sugar and what these do is it's very similar to um you know when you fry say you fry um what, what could we use as an example oh I can't think of anything off the top of my head but say when you're frying something and it turns it that um, it turns it from a normal color to a goldeny sort of color. Caramel, that's what's happening with caramel, basically. It's called the Maillard reaction. And, and basically what's happening is, is the reducing sugars reacting to amino acids in the sugar or whatever. And we've got loads of amino acids in our skin as well. That's why the DHA reacts so readily with our skins. Too. And then it, the Maillard reaction produces the stain and the stain lasts for anywhere up from five days to seven days. 
that's just a bit of additional information, FYI, and all of that business. So we've ticked all of our boxes. You know, I've explained the, the, the theory and the science behind self-tanners. Uh, but using something like summer skin will save our skins from uh, incidental and, and purpose exposure to, or on purposeful, yeah, purposeful exposure to ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B rays and thus uh, help prevent aging, so on and so forth. And as with all of my DIY formulas, this has no preservatives in it at all, guys. In fact, the monolaurin, because it has the antibacterial properties, uh, acts as sort of like, and not a 100% preserving agent, but it will certainly keep our summer skin fresh and potent much longer than if we didn't have the monolaurin in there. But on the other hand, we're not using additional preservatives either. So what I'll do, guys, is I'll teach you how to make your own bottle or bottles because you can make as much or as less of this as you want. It's entirely up to you, beautiful ones. That's one of the beauties of DIY skincare. <laughs> um, yeah, now I'll, I'll teach you how to make this one and then we'll talk on the other side of how to use, when to use. Um, you know, you, you will need to exfoliate prior to, but that's for later, not for now. I'll teach you how to make this one first and we'll chat soon. Right, beautiful ones, in order to make your own version of summer skin, you'll need a bag of DHA tanning agent. I'll link where I got that from in the description. A bottle of monolaurin capsules, any strength will do. Some rosemary essential oil. And some orange essential oil too. The obligatory jug and spoon, of course. <laughs> to do our mixing in, oh, and the essential piece of tissue paper. Right, so in your plain empty clean jug, you're going to put monolaurin capsules. We're gonna add three of those guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the capsules up and tip the powder into the jug. That's one, that's two third one just gone in oh no sorry <laughs> third one just gone in get it right joseph right so now in our jug we have three uh, three contents of three monolaurin tablets capsules now we're going to cover this lot with 200 mils of boiling tap water And what this does is it just melts the um, the monolaurin, which red, it melts readily, beautiful ones. Monolaurin actually comes from coconuts. It's an in interesting ingredient. It's got a lovely smell to it. it smells like bay leaves, apparently. Right, so there's our liquid. Now you must leave this to cool, guys, until it's totally cool and it will look like that, sort of like a cloudy mixture. I'm gonna go in with our tanning agent now, guys. Now this is the interesting part. If you want a light tan, just add one, tea, uh, one tablespoon. If you want a medium tan, add two tablespoons. If you want a deep, dark tan, add three tablespoons. And here I'm just gonna add two because I like a medium tan. But this is an adjustable formulation, guys. It's up to you how much you add. By the way, on the back of my right hand isn't, um, it, that's not summer skin. That's just my experiments. Summer skin comes out much, much more brown, mahogany than that. So into my jug, I'm going to add two tablespoonfuls of DHA tanning agent. And now look at in the jug. The, the liquid's gone really white, hasn't it? And that's the monolaurin. It's totally cooled now, guys. So I'm going to add around 20 drops of rosemary essential oil. And the rosemary essential oil just nudges the colour away from the yellow orange to more of a red colour. So it gives you the mahogany brown we're after. The orange essential oil is in the formula just because I think that orange and rosemary go really, really well together. They smell gorgeous. So I'm going to add around 20 drops of orange essential oil too. Nearly there, guys. So your summer skin's nearly ready. Just give that a quick blend together. And bottle up, guys. Summer skin is ready. Hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.
So beautiful ones. That's how we make this, the Summer Skin uh, Mahogany Brown Self-Tanning Potion. Sounds interesting. Sounds fab, doesn't it? A potion. Wow, it sounds even magical. It is quite magical, actually. I think you'll all be quite surprised at the colour that this uh, this self-tanning potion gives you at the end of the day. And also, as I say in the tutorial part of this video, that you can adjust the, uh, the, end, the depth of the end tone from light to dark. Just use one tablespoonful of DHA powder if you want a light colour two if you want a medium colour, and three to four if you want a really deep colour. So it's you can control exactly the shade that you end up with at the end of the day, which is brilliant. Cost-wise, possibly definitely under five pounds for, and I've made four of these today, for five pounds. I mean, you just couldn't go out there and buy it. It's certainly mahogany brown self-tanner, four bottles, for 400 mils, that's 100 mils in there, 400 mils for under five pounds. It just wouldn't happen. You just couldn't do it, guys. I've said it before and I'll say it again, you're paying for the name, guys. This is a, it's a colourless self-tanning lotion. A lot of these, uh, these modern self-tanners, they use very, very harsh dyes, which actually give you A, a guide colour, so you can see where you're putting the self-tanner, and B, also the, the tone that the, the dyes actually do is they stain the skin, and so that sort of pushes the end result towards the colour of the dye as opposed to the colour that the self-tanner would naturally go. However, a lot of these dyes are man-made. They're very, very artificial, whereas monolaurin is natural. The essential oils are natural. Even the, the DHA, the dehydroxyacetone sugar is natural because it comes from sugar beet or even sugar cane. And I don't like using dyes in self-tanners, guys. That's why I prefer a, a plain one, a colorless formula, because you're just not putting additional um, chemicals on your skin, which aren't necessary. And th th yeah, I suppose it makes it a little bit more hard to see exactly where you've put it. Um, but with a little bit of caution, a little bit of careful application, you know, you, it will transform your skin from pale and pasty to bronzed and beautiful within 12 hours maximum, I would say. One thing you must, must do beforehand is to exfoliate your skin thoroughly because the, the DHA chemical, the, sorry, the DHA tanning agent in um, summer skin, it's reacting with your skin cells and it's the amino, amino, um, amino acids with it. Sorry, get it right. So it's the amino acids within your skin, which the DHA, the reducing sugar, which is DHA, is reacting with, thus, th thus giving you the end result colour, the rich mahogany brown we're after. And if you've got loads of dead skin cells sat, sat around on your skin, they're just going to clog it up and um, the, the, the colour will actually react to the dead skin cells as well as the skin beneath, thus causing streaks patchiness, so on and so forth. But the benefits of using something like summer skin as opposed to having a, a real tan, it's just innumerable guys. I mean, you, you know, you're not prematurely aging your skin. You're not exposing it to risk of cancer. It's, DHA can be quite drying sometimes, but you know, a moisturized pr prior to application, certainly scrub first, um, but this can be skin savior. And also it transforms skin from being pale and pasty, I'm trying to get it open, pale and pasty to, Oh, it smells delicious. Pale and pasty to bronzed and beautiful. So, but soon you could be the proud owner of a bottle of summer skin, you know, your very own DIY homemade self-tanning lotion, which will never be orange, always mahogany brown, guys. And that's it for today. Oh, don't forget to wash your hands after you've put it on either, because otherwise you'll end up with brown palms, which is never attractive. Is it beautiful ones? Well, I suppose some people might quite fancy that, but I certainly don't. Um, right, let me just put him over there. And that's it for today, beautiful ones. If you if you use a self tanner already, let me know in the description in sorry in the comments what you do use, what brand you use, your application methods, wh whether you get on with them or not, whether you've actually used a self tanner before or you're new to self tanning. Just love to hear from you and your thoughts on the whole self tanning bag. And um, that's it from me today, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment and I'll reply and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all very, very soon. Have a lovely weekend, guys. Take care. See you. Bye.